and welcome to this uh, video. So in this training, we're going to look at how you can basically use groups to create ultimate workout program templates. So let's imagine you're in your PTD account and you've created a program template uh, for your client. And maybe that program template is say a four week long program. Now that four week long program that may contain say three workouts inside it, um, it's for the first four weeks. And after the first four weeks, you want, want to introduce another program with different workouts inside there. Again, there are three workouts inside again, but they're different. And then you might want to do the same again for another four week program after that. So you've created these different programs inside templates. Um, but does that mean then that when you're creating stuff for your client, you have to go into their account every four weeks and then add in those new program templates. And then you have to go in there and schedule them out, put in any progressions, and things like that inside it. But if you have to do that for every individual client, that can be quite a long process. So first of all, what I wanna do is I wanna show you that process, which is what I know a lot of people are doing, and I wanna show you a really quick way of having it set up using groups that you can then stack together with other groups inside your programs to deliver content to your clients. So let's go and take a look. So first thing I want to go and do is go into my online clients, and I'm gonna go and use, uh, in this example, uh, our PT Ninja client just here. So inside this account at the moment, if we go and open it up, you can see we have nothing inside here at the moment. It's, uh, it's empty of programs and coaching content and things like that. So we wanna put some workout programs in here. Now, I've already created some workout templates that are in my templates area up here. Uh, so I'm gonna go and add these into my client account. So my client dashboard. So I'm gonna go to add programs, Choose my template, and you can see here we have beginners, weeks one to four. So I want to put that in. I'm going to call that weeks uh, one to four. And then I'm going to have that live straight away for my client. So when they log in, they'll be able to see that live workout. And I also want to do the same for the next one as well. So I'm going to click add programs, go in there, do weeks five to eight. Uh, and you'll see already this is starting to take a little bit of time, even just adding these in for each client. Like, I'm going to set this now for five weeks' time. So you need to work out when five weeks is going to be. Uh, so that's one week, two weeks, three weeks, four weeks. There you go. And save and add. Uh, and then I'm going to do the same for my last one. So programs in there, nine weeks. And again, calling it weeks. Uh, what's that going to be? Nine to 12. And again, I've got to work out the dates again. So we're in August now, 18, 19, that's one week, two weeks, and three weeks, four weeks. So we're gonna start it around here. Click saving. So I'm about to go and do that now. I've just got them in there and that content strip feed now. Now, of course you could leave it like that if you wanted to. Uh, you don't have to schedule workouts as we mentioned before in previous videos that we've done on PT Ninja. But if you want to um, schedule them, uh, you can do. And we're gonna talk about how we schedule that now. If you wanna know how you can check in on workouts, um, if you don't schedule them, we have another video as well that I'll link into this um, blog post so you can have a look at that and see how you can actually have clients check in on unscheduled workouts. But uh, until then, let's carry on with what we're doing here. So first of all, we want to go and schedule these now. So we're going to hit the drop down menu, hit scheduling progressions, choose our workouts. Uh, we can choose our date, which will be for say tomorrow. And then we're going to do our time uh, repeating every week. Uh, for the next, say, four weeks. Add that to schedule. And then we do the same for the next one. Pick a day, drop it in. And then we do the same for the next one. And then pick a day. And we have to drop it in. And we actually have to do this now for each, if we want to schedule it, for each of our programs that we've set up. Then once we've done that, we can go inside here and we can go to each date, go into each of these progressions, and then change any progressions, change the acute variables as required, so that program then can progress over those four weeks with the same workouts. And then after four weeks, it'll be a new program with scheduled workouts again, but we're then changing the acute variables within those progressions. So we're looking probably at what we've done there with the changes and things, it's probably gonna take you around 15, 10, 15 minutes, once you get used to it, to add all that into a client group, into a client's account. Now, if you want to use the same acute variables and same program for multiple clients, that's going to add up over time, especially when you start getting more than a handful of clients. So what I'm going to do now is show you how you can utilize this with groups. So let's go and take a look. So we're going to close this off. I'm actually going to go in here now. I'm going to delete all these programs. We don't need them inside there now, so I'm just going to delete them. And what we're going to do is 
Uh, we can either go to groups and click add group, or we can go back to home and do it from the home page. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to go and create a workout group. So I'm going to call this a beginner workout. I'm going to click. Actually, I'm going to put beginner workout 12 weeks. So, so it's nice and clear what it is. Uh, in fact, we can make it even clearer than that. I'm going to begin the 12 weeks work, uh, beginner workout 12 weeks in the gym. Why not? Click add. So it's nice and clear. Now I'm going to go to the group dashboard. And what I'm going to do inside the group dashboard now is do exactly the same thing I've just done. Go to programs and add in each of those programs into here. So I'm going to call that weeks uh, one to four. I'm going to make that live on copying to clients so they can see it straight away. And then I'm going to get, do the same on here. Program uh, weeks five to eight. I'm going to set this now to go live after five weeks and add that in and then exactly the same for the next one programs weeks nice as well so already it's actually even quicker because i'm not having to work out the, the dates and stuff for each of my client i can just drop it in there nice and simply and drip feed that content out using this live feature uh, that's already built into pt distinction so there we go so we've got them now drip fed in the next thing I want to do is add in those progressions. So I'm going to go drop down menu, schedule in progressions, choose the workout. I'm going to go days after joining. I'm going to have this as day zero. And there's a reason I'm going to do this as day zero. And we'll talk about that next. Um, but in a nutshell, a lot of people want workouts to start on particular days. And the reason they don't use groups is because they feel you have to start it straight away when they sign up. That's not entirely true. So I'm going to show you how you can actually get these workouts to form the days that you want them to automatically and to do that you'd set up a group in this way so we're actually going to start this with day zero so days after joining i'm not going to use on joining for day zero i'm going to use by days after joining but choose day zero it's really important you do that don't do it by clicking on joining it will not have the same effect so day zero and i'm going to do this for 9 a.m repeating every week uh for four weeks i'm going to click now add to schedule click ok it's not going to drop them in. I'll go over here now, adding my progressions to each of my exercises. So maybe I want to change these to, say, four sets on this particular one. Um, I can do whatever I want to, obviously, inside here. Click Save. Um, I can either save it for just that particular exercise, or I can save and copy. And what I want to do here is have it for that one and for uh, the last one as well. Um, so I can basically add in my progressions nice and quick and easy that way. So there's my progressions in there. I've gone through and checked all them to make sure I'm happy with them. And then day 21 is the, the last day of that one. So now I'm going to go to here, uh, close this off. And then my programs are now going to go and schedule the next one here, which is weeks five to eight. Go to my scheduled progressions, uh, choose the first workout, days after joining. And then my last one was day 21. I'm having a rest day in between each one. Uh, so I'm going to go for uh, day 23, add that in. And I'm going to go repeating every day, every week for uh, four weeks. Drop that one inside here and away we go. And I'm going to again repeat that same process, go through the my progressions. And again, just repeat the same process inside here as well. Do it for the next one. And then for the next one, again, put those days gaps in between. Again, adding in the progressions and stuff as I need to. So I'm starting to now go and schedule in all these different workouts uh, for our client inside here. Once I've done that, I do my progressions in. I'll do it again for the last one over here, which is for the nine weeks. So I go schedule progressions, exactly the same process, add it in, schedule them through. So there you go, that's them all scheduled in now. So if we go back to our schedule and we select day by after joining, we can see up here we have day zero, there's the first workout, second workout, third workout of the week. That repeats each week automatically. Each of these now have the different acute variables that we've added with the, the progressions and stuff we put in. And that just keeps going through and eventually it will turn into the next workout, which you can see here, which is uh, weeks five to eight. And again, same thing happens. It starts to drip feed out as well, giving those weekly workouts all the way through. And eventually we get into the last phase of this 12 week program, which is nine to, weeks nine to 12. You can see them drip feeding out then uh, for the total length of the, the program for the client finishing at the end of the 12 week program and each of these going to have those different scheduled um items in there scheduled workouts in there with all the progressions and stuff in so now we've done that that's what i said we need to do that once this is where the cool stuff comes into play so let's now go back to our uh, client 
And we're going to use our uh, PT Ninja client again. So inside here, we've got our PT Ninja client, and we're thinking, okay, this particular client here, um, they want to do, they're a beginner, they're working out inside the gym. So we've created our beginner 12 week gym program. Now, of course, you could create multiple groups like this. You could have intermediate, advanced 12 week gym programs. You could have intermediate, advanced home programs. You, you could have strength based programs. You could have uh, all sorts of programs. It doesn't really matter what it is you want to do. You can build many different programs and sequences and phases and stuff set up with inside these groups. And what that allows you to do is go into this client's account, click on the groups, click add, hit the drop down menu, and then just go and add in the group you've just created. So here we go, add it in, and I can click add, okay, and then drop that straight into the account and all that content is inside here. And that's it, it's all dropped inside. Programs are there, all drip fed out for them, uh, all scheduled in with all the progressions already set up. You can add that to any client you want. Now, if you want that to start on a particular day, you could do that as well. So you could go to groups, you can go remove, click OK, and then go to add, hit the drop down menu, choose the program you want to add in, and then go to the day and get that to start on, say, the Monday, click add and OK. And you'll see now that group is now pending on the actual Monday. And that will automatically get added into your client's account. Now you can really utilize that alongside other groups and other pre-made packages and things like that inside uh, PTD. So if you have a pre-made package set up, you can automatically add in those groups, have it start on a Monday. So let me just quickly show you how that would work. If we go into our pre-made package here and you want the client to sign up automatically, over this side here, we can go and edit our package. So I've got one I've made earlier. Go to my groups and inside here you can see we have these automated workouts already set up. Uh, but I'm going to go and add this one in. I'm going to pick on Sunday and add it in on the Sunday. And all that basically means now that as soon as a client fills the form in for this package or the package is triggered, it creates an account from the PTD, adds in all these other groups that we've already set up with all our coaching content in, our welcome emails, our review, our habits, all that kind of stuff inside here. And then what it will do is automatically add in this group on the first Sunday or the first Monday or whatever day you want it to start. And then that's when day zero will fall for that client and that program content will be delivered to them. So then we know that that workout will always fall on a Monday and a Wednesday and a Friday, for example. So there's lots of cool things we can do with setting it up this way and stacking groups together. Now, if you want a bit more advice and help on how to stack groups and how to build some stuff together, this is basically the format we follow inside the PT Ninja 101 course, where we actually take you through um, our versions of the super system We'll build everything up for you. We'll give you all the content for it. all the groups already pre-made and show you exactly how to use them uh, from workouts, from nutritional stuff, from coaching, from recipes, from reviews, all that kind of stuff, as well as give you lots of ongoing support with it. So if you want to actually really take uh, your PTD to the next level, utilizing groups in this way, then definitely come and check that out. I'm sure that'd be really, really useful. But if you're happy with everything so far, if it makes sense what we've done here, and then I would definitely recommend you go ahead and have a go at building out workout groups and program groups like this so you can just drop them into your accounts and just like we've done there you can very easily just swap things around again like we do inside the course area we have beginner intermediate advanced versions for example where you can have somebody sign up with a pre-made package automatically be given the uh, welcome um, groups and things like that and then you can either go into their account and add in the workout group when you want to or you could automatically start them on say beginners one but once they fill in their forms and you want to update them you can just swap out just that beginners group and add in the intermediate version and it updates all the programs for them within literally a second or two but it still maintains everything else they're doing all their weekly reviews their tracking the nutrition all remains the same because they're all in different groups and this is why group stacking is such a powerful tool and i recommend using it in ptd and we definitely recommend it inside the ptd ninja 101 and with our done for you services anyway i hope this has been helpful if you've got any questions at all let us know in the comments and i'll see you at my next video